This video is brought to you by MPEC Printery, specializing in t-shirt printing, posters and shipping from the USA. Call 876-775-6692 or 876-337-7374. Andy Gone Nuts, 100% guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door. Call 876-309-6128. That's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts. Mmm, truly refreshing. And Crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876-586-0471. That's 876-586-0471. This video is also brought to you by BLC Jamaica Security Electronics. Specializing in alarm system, video surveillance, camera system or CCTV, barrier system, gate automation and access control. Call 876-320-7711. That's 876-320-7711 or 876-351-1105. That's 876-351-1105. Hello everyone, how is everybody doing? I hope everyone is doing well, and welcome back to Reggae Boys Commentary. Yes, this is the channel where we come together to discuss everything in relation to Jamaican football. This is your hub for everything Jamaican football related, your number one source for Jamaican football. So let's talk about a player that you guys have been asking about for quite some time, and somebody that I know has been quite the talking point amongst many people. I've heard many, 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 many different varying opinions about this player in particular, his impact, what he can do, his value, his importance, if he's an asset, if he's a liability. I've heard them all. I've, I've heard them all, honestly. And it's been quite mixed, I will tell you. Quite a lot. So let's go right into the matter, shall we? What are some of the things that you've heard people say? I've heard people say that he's a fraud. I've heard people also refer to him as Wildy Boo. I've also heard people call him Wild. I've also heard people say that he's somebody that should never be dropped from the national team. These are things that I've all heard. Mm -hmm. All of these things are things that I've heard. You know what I'm saying? All of these things are things that I've heard. So what is the deal? What is the situation with Junior Flemings? Well, let's see what you guys are saying in the comments firstly. Machine Man 19 says, up Simon. Up, how are you doing? Jermaine Chambers says, up family. How are you doing guys? Hope you guys are doing good. Keep your, your comments and questions coming in guys. Really, really appreciate that. All right. So give us your feedback and let me know what's on your guys' minds, all right? So that we can make progress and advance and see what you guys have to say. He needs to get a hold of himself from his dis, his fellow reggae boy. Mr. Galaxy says, Messi. Oh, my days. I guess you can't talk to the Messi fans now. Not only did he score in the final, but golden ball, you know. What more can you do? You know? Think about it. Just think about this for a moment. What more? Is there any argument at this point in time against Lionel Messi being the GOAT? Is there any argument? 
I guess the only thing you could say is perhaps not not doing it in England. That's perhaps the only thing you could perhaps people would try to cling on to that you didn't do it in England. That's perhaps the only argument. But apart from that, you know, it just shows that you work hard and things fall into place in due time. Nico Griffith says, Up Simon, how are you doing good? Big up, hope you're you and your family are doing good, man. Yes, doing good. Are you back in London? Um IS Abdi. Are you back in London or Somalia or still in Qatar? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below there. So, guys, let's go right into the matter. So, Junior Flemings. We've discussed him on this platform a number of times. As you guys know and have been aware, I was the first person that spoke about Junior Flemings and a potential move towards France and specifically Toulouse, and it eventually happened. So I think for that, guys, you deserve to give me a massive thumbs up. A massive thumbs up right there. And you like this video and a massive clap in the comments as well because i was the one that let you know you guys know first about this some 9 10 11 12 months ago i was the one that let you guys know first about this yes so that's something that you guys have to be aware of okay the next thing is this <clears throat> i was the one that confirmed that the deal had gone through i told you about damien low I've told you about Amal Knight. I've been the first to, to let you guys know about these Jamaican players that have gone on to sign sign deals for overseas clubs. So for all of that, guys, I think it's only fair that you hit the like button for this video. All right? So go ahead and hit the like button. Good. Okay, you're back in London. Whereabouts in London? West London, East London? You know, Ealing, uh, West London. I'm normally that side when I'm in London. Or if I'm in East London, I'm more like in the Stratford side, you know, near West Ham. South London, uh, I know Croydon, I know Croydon well. Uh, North London, uh, I know Edmonton and Tottenham quite well. So those areas in particular. So guys, as you know, Junior Flemings, he made three appearances within Ligue 2 last season with Toulouse. He played with the Toulouse B team, which was in the Championnat National Trois, that, as you know, is the, the fifth tier of French football. And in the fifth tier of French football, he scored five goals <clears throat> in six appearances. In Ligue 2, he had three appearances and no goals to his name. <clears throat> he hasn't played in Liga. He hasn't. That's all. He hasn't played in Liga. I look where we are right now. <laughs> yep. So what is the deal? What is the deal with Junior Flemings? What is next for him? A few more comments and questions, and then I get right to the answer. Flemings spent too much time in USL. It stunted his development. He's unfortunately re-upping the consequences. Jamaican players in general spend too much time in USL. I think the situation of the the incident at Phoenix Rising, um, a move was supposed to come through, but it didn't on that occasion. Uh, As Abdi says, North London, Edmonton, born and raised. Okay, cool breeze. Was he named to the bench in Liga? He has been named on the bench in Liga, and specifically, we have to go back to, I believe, October 2, when uh, Toulouse played Montpellier in a 4-2 win. So he has been named on the bench. But what I will say, and what I will add as well, the, the manager of Toulouse, which is Philippe Montagnier, former French goalkeeper, you know, he spent some time with Toulouse as a player as well in the 90s, and Saint-Étienne. What has Montagnier said? Basically, said that in terms of the press conferences, because I do read French and I do, I, I read and write French, and I can tell you in terms of what he has said in relation to Junior Flemings. He says that Flemings needs to work on doing better in training, and he says that if those improvements can come, then he can make more bench appearances for the team. There's another press conference where he spoke about. Him being sick, being the illness, it didn't specify if it was COVID or not, but there was a period of time where he did suffer an illness and 
as a result of that, he did not gain any playing time. So that is the situation there. So where is he right now? And what is the deal? Well, with 18 months left on his contract, he can start talking. When you have 18 months left on your contract, you can start talking to people. And the desire is that Junior Flemings would like to play games. He would like to play games, whether that might be at Toulouse or elsewhere. And he wants to get the, the requisite playing time that he can to put himself in strong contention to be part of Jamaica squads for the CONCACAF Nations League and also the CONCACAF Gold Cup as well. So that in itself is something that we can look out for because that is something that will be needed. So uh, what I would say, folks, is keep your ears and eyes poked out as January, there could be a loan deal coming. If not a loan deal, another club coming in for Junior Flemings. Do Toulouse want to let him go? No. No. Uh, do they view him as surplus to requirements? That's another conversation. But they... No, they, they've they never, ever, ever come out and said, we want Junior to leave. Because they do admire how he plays. And as I said, just as the coach has said in French, in his training session, he says, Junior needs to work harder within the training sessions. What that might be, I'm not sure, because he didn't specify if it was a training drill or if it was something technically that needs to be worked on. But the reality is that some something needs to be worked on from the the training field in particular. Flemings need to work on his attitude. That is his problem over the years. Says Travis Pessoa, Mister Galax says, if I'm Flemings, I should get a loan move to a mid table league two side to try to get more minutes. Well, ideally, he would he would want to have that sort of option. It'll depend on what it opens for him. But certainly, a mid table league two side, or even if he goes across the border to Switzerland and plays in the Swiss Pro League, I'll be completely fine with that. I wouldn't have an issue with that at all. For me, that's okay. It's just about ensuring that he gets that requisite minutes outside of North America. That, for me, is crucial. So whether it's Scotland, whether it's Switzerland, even if it's the second tier in Germany, for me, you know, for me, it's just about ensuring that he gets those minutes, those crucial, crucial, crucial <clears throat> minutes. Outer East says Flummer needs to go to League Two and build himself up. For me, he doesn't have to go to League Two. Although that is an option bearing in mind that he's in France, I don't think League Two has to be the league where he where he goes to. It doesn't have to be that league specifically. It could be, for example, Switzerland. Could be the second tier in Germany. It could even be. Could be. Because those neighboring countries close to each other, those opportunities will present itself. And what I know is that perhaps. Our good friend Rolanda Ahrens can put in a good word for Junior Flemings at Huddersfield Town. Who knows? <laughs> he has caps, doesn't he? <laughs> so, but yeah, that's something that we have to consider from, from that angle. So we'll look forward to that in particular. League 2, do you think it's an option? Yes, it's an option. I'm not saying it should be the only option to look at. But yes, it is an option for sure for Junior Flemings. It is an option, but it's not the only option. And that is what I want to make extremely clear. It's not the only option for Junior Flemings. And it's something that we need to really, really grasp quite fondly. That this is not the only option. There are other options. And it's about ensuring that the next place that he goes to, whether it's a loan or a permanent deal, it's an environment where he will get the minutes that he needs to thrive. Is Fleming's injured? They play friendly recently and he wasn't in the squad. <clears throat> yes, he also had a, an injury as well. It wasn't a serious long-term sort of injury. It was a situation where he needed to recuperate from yeah, some pain that he was facing. So it wasn't a serious life-threatening, career-threatening sort of injury. So 
we can breathe a sigh of relief where that is concerned. So hopefully that basically answers you guys' questions. But I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say as well in relation to Flemings in particular. Do you think that Flemings should go to League 2 on loan or should he spend the next 18 months at Toulouse grafting, 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 grafting until he gets the, the playing time that he deserves? I tell you what, folks, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Tell me what you think about the matter and let me see what you have to say. Chris Smith has coach said that the other players are just doing better than him. Yep, like I said earlier within the show, Chris, in terms of how he's doing in the training session, he says that he needs some work, and that's the reality of the situation, and I don't think you can argue with a statement like that. I'm curious to know what exactly is it that he needs to work on in those training sessions. But, folks, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary for more content. This video is brought to you by MPEC Printery, specializing in T-shirt printing, posters, and shipping from the USA. Call 876-775-6692 or 876-337-7374. Andy Gone Nuts, 100% guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door. Call 876-309-6128. That's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts. Mmm, truly refreshing. And Crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876-586-0471. That's 876-586-0471. This video is also brought to you by BLC Jamaica Security Electronics. Specializing in alarm system, video surveillance, camera system or CCTV, barrier system, gate automation, and access control. Call 876-320-7711. That's 876-320-7711. Or 876-351-1105. That's 876-351-1105.